Gino, um, on tape, what did you see that you could improve on? Uh, a number of things. Uh, one was uh, just accuracy. Um, didn't think I uh, hit my mark as much as I would like to. Um, I was kind of off target, you know, on certain throws that I know, normally make. But, uh, you know, days like that happen, and um, you just got to move on from it. Yeah, I got some good sleep. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the most part, I was watching tape, but uh, I got some good sleep. You know, probably about thirty minutes. When you, I mean, you have good games. You have you have you know games that aren't as good. Uh, how do you? I know you try to approach each the same afterward, but uh, you, is there any difference at all? I mean, did, did you? I mean, there is a difference. I think the difference is the sense of urgency. Um, you know, you hate to lose, but losing always does that for you. It always um, makes you focus in on the little things just that much more because um, as, competitor, as a competitor, you hate to lose. So um, it's just a sense of urgency thing, but uh, overall, we're going to approach it the same way. Some of the challenges that the Kansas State defense is going to pose here Saturday night. Uh, they're a tough, uh, tough challenge. They have a really good defense. They play together. They play hard. Um, they're always attacking. They're very sound. Uh, they rarely make mistakes. Um, you, you rarely catch those guys blowing coverages, and they all fly to the ball. And that's, uh, that's something that um, you want as a defensive coordinator, and that's a good sign for their defense. So it's going to be a challenge for us, and we've got to be up to that challenge. They're equally good. Yeah, I think I think so. Um, you know, you can you can never tell until you're actually out there on the field because, like I always say, every game's different. But you can definitely tell on film that those guys, um, they, for one, they know what they're doing. They're they're very experienced. They've got guys who've played a lot of snaps, um, and they play together and they play hard. Uh, you know, it's good to be in front of our fans, uh, get a game, night game at home uh, against a good team, and it's always a great opportunity for us. Overall, you know, uh, it's going to be the same. You know, you gotta you got to eliminate those factors out of your mind no matter where you play, no matter who you play, no matter, you know, what time it is. You got to make sure that um, your mind is clear and you're only focused on winning the game. Gino, do you feel like Saturday is going to be a battle of two of the, the best quarterbacks in the nation? Is that how you're kind of looking at it? No. It's going to be uh, West Virginia's offense versus Kansas State's defense and vice versa. And that's really all it comes down to. Do you, do you know, have you heard that you're, West Virginia is favored to win the game? Uh-uh. Well, it is by three points. I saw it myself, U.S. today. I mean, does that help maybe – for you, you all to regain some of your confidence. No, I don't think we lost any confidence. I just you think, it, I think we coach I th- said you did. No, I don't, when you I don't fell think far so. behind, he said you lost your confidence. Not you, particularly, but the team. Yeah, I don't think we lost any confidence. That game's over when we put it behind us. You think us. it's up there? He said he noticed it better the, the next, next question, morning you know, is, when uh, you got home. Is a game like that a wake-up call? Maybe. I mean, uh, I think I think so. You know, and, and I hate to say that. Well, we hate to have those circumstances, but uh, we, like I always say, um, every game has its own story. And uh, the thing I, I noticed on Saturday is that we got behind and um, guys started to hang their head a little bit. And, you know, you've seen guys step up. Leaders um, were, were keeping their calm and uh, kept the team spirits high. And you know, uh, But overall, I think, you know, it's just one of those games that you have. I hate to have it, but uh, everyone has those days. And you just got to learn from it and move on. What lesson did you take from it, baby? You know what? I really couldn't take any lessons from it. I've lost a lot of games. I've won a lot of games. And um, the one thing that I know is that uh, the bitterness of defeat is always weighs a lot more than the thrill of victory. So, uh, you know, you just got to put it behind you. Um, keep that same confidence that you had. Um, come in with the same mindset throughout practice and throughout the week and put the work in and prepare for another tough game. Is it kind of? I mean, you go into this game now. Obviously, it's. Uh, I don't. I hate to say must win, but you don't want to fall two games behind it behind the team. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And, that's and every game's a must win for us, especially in college. You know, uh, we don't have the luxury of a playoff system. We have to. Uh, you know, you get, you, if you want to be right there at the end and, you know, you want to win it all, you got to win every game. And that's that's just the nature of it. So, uh, you know, we lost one. Uh, we, our goals are still in reach, but this is a must win for us. Were you guys as a team embarrassed by that? It's something Dana said earlier today. He, he thought that loss was embarrassing. Is that something you have to get over and, and put behind you? It's already behind us. We had a day of practice. We had two days of practice after that. So, I mean, there's nothing to dwell on. Obviously, it's embarrassing 
to lose in that manner, but uh, I hate to lose. And one point loss and hundred point loss, or one point win and hundred point win, they they all you know it's all in the same column. So. Uh, you know, just got to move on from it, and I think we have. I know we're going to bounce back, and there's nothing that needs to be said, really, but other than just get back to work. When it comes to be back home at Pittsburgh Stadium after two home 